What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the 100 kilos position or otherwise known as Kese Katami. So, Ms. Chelsea, can I get you down? So, we're going to start here. I'm already past guard. Instead of going for a traditional side control pin, I decided to go here. So, for this position, ideally, I have a fully sunken underhook here and I have an overhook grip on the tricep and I'm kind of pinching down, okay? Not like this, not like this, just like this, okay? Now, there's a very easy transition to scarf hold here. If I ever want to transition here and do my attacks from here on this arm, that's what I'm going to do. Now, there's an additional attack here though from Keze Katami that in no gi probably won't get you the finish, but it'll definitely get you a reaction. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna scoot you over. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this overhook arm across just like this, and I'm gonna drop my head to the mat because I don't want this arm to interfere with what I'm about to do. So I'm gonna bring this across, and drop my head down just like this, okay? Now, from here, big mistake a lot of people make with this is they conform their wrist to the neck, right? See how I'm bending my wrist? Don't do that. Make sure you're straight and you wanna drive all your pressure down straight on the forearm just like that. And my head was honestly probably a little too elevated here. She probably could have used that arm to attack, yeah, to attack and uh, not attack, but disengage um, my grips. So what I'm going to do is drop my head down and now same kind of pressure, just like that. Now she does have one arm free here. So what a lot of people will do is they'll, if they can't bring this arm in, they'll use the other one and they'll start pushing hard on the elbow and bridging away. And a lot of times that'll give me attacks like this. Not super high percentage because she's probably gonna push the leg off. But now I can trap this arm and come here for my swipe choke. So every reaction that she gets here might give me something else. So again, we're here. I try for my paper cutter choke. And in the gi, this is even worse because I can grab the fabric and really drive a lot of pressure down there. But she pushes that off, okay? So I come here. And now she pushes my leg off. So I come here, I miss the arm. Let me try that again. So I came here, she pushes the leg off now. I gotta go behind the elbow, right? The first time I tried to go over, that was a mistake. I gotta go behind the elbow, just like this. Now I've got my swipe choke. To finish this, you lift the head up, right? Lock in a nice tight grip, and now you drive your pressure down on your shoulder, just like that. You won't always get that finish, but what you can do with it is pass this over to mount, and now there's an easy back take where I slide up, pull her across, and come here. So swipe choke can lead you to a lot of pretty cool things, but that's the one, two, three that I like to do from the case of Katami position. It, I hope you guys like this technique. If you did, make sure you share with your friends, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new and click that notification bell. Thanks a lot. Oh, also make sure you guys check us out on Rumble. We are getting bigger there every day and it is a growing platform that is censorship free. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe to us on Rumble. Thanks a lot guys. We'll see you next time.